Hey everyone, my name is Kanji and welcome to the first edition of Plastic Instruments Monthly. Essentially, this is your monthly news source that you can use to be informed about what's happening in the Clone Hero community. These will be split up into three parts, which are community news, individual accomplishments, and new chart releases. Anyway, let's get down to business. Starting off, the keyboard community has come together in Tech FC Solus 5 by Exile Lord, the iconic 17 minute gauntlet with complex patterns and tactical strumming. To be honest with you guys, I'm surprised none of them broke their keyboard switches along the way. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Fog Saturate. Stop breaking your keyboards, please! Moving along from that, a precision mode community Tech FC of Solus 4 was hosted by Ghost Force. With half of the community being made up of PC players and people who can barely hit notes on time, I'm proud that the infinite monkey theorem isn't too far off. On another note, Eagleus, an absolute monstrosity created by Avenge and Hekia, is on its last legs with only Brown Recluse solo and the Eagleus section remaining for a community tech FC. So with that in mind, let's get to work Jarvis and Shmui, or you know, Ian, or Nitro Awesome, or Nate. You know what? 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 Someone, just anyone, someone just please hit Eagleus pattern, please. Just anybody, just do it. That's all I ask for, please. But hey, let's not forget the Olympian Community Tech FC that's moving along quite nicely. With only 20 sections left out of 302, it's only a matter of time until the Olympian will be squashed into the ground by the best of the best. You can find the Google document tracking this progress in the description of this video. Shifting gears a bit, the CH Community server has gotten a huge revamp, with a clean channel list and even more ways to bring the community together. This involves the new pit, which is a 1v1 arena where you can 1v1 your friends or just any people in the server. So go do that. Let's just hope that bingo in that server doesn't go south like it always does. To end off the community news, the CSC Championship Series has begun, with the top 4 participants winning fully modded guitars from Fire Exit Man and Super Katana. It's always nice to see the console players getting the attention they deserve. Good luck to all the players participating. Now, all of these things are great and all, but you may be wondering, what's been FC this month, or who's returned, or who's uploaded what? Well, I've got you covered. Starting off with a bang, we have the return of Send It. He uploaded 13 FCs on the Amy G Dala YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to, in the span of 48 hours. All of these could be kind of old and from August, but all of them are extremely good FCs and you should go watch all of them. And the moment you've probably been waiting for... The man who quite literally has our jaws dropping onto the floors every week. We have our boy Shmooey. This month he FC'd, and please bear with me here, there's a lot of FC's here. The Eagle is a uh, Pillows of Mercy 110, Nove Rufus 115, Toxic Garbage Island 165, The Empress, Regalomania Force, A Million Deaths 125, Winterloo 180, and Skepsis 125. Are you actually serious? I'm losing my mind. This is not real, and this world is a simulation. I don't believe any of this. But before we get into the most insane accomplishment of this month, here's how to properly apply Vaseline to your guitar. So step one, you're gonna need to acquire some Vaseline. Then step two, you need to grab your guitar and... Anyways, uh, he obtained a minus nine on Diabolical Strumming Medley. A minus nine. This guy is not real. I'm telling you, he is not real. He is non-existent. While all of these accomplishments are incredible, let's not let Shmooey have all the fun, as Riff Raff is making quick work of Megalodon, cutting it down to a four-part tech FC with a three-part in the works, and even a two-part in mind if he gets a 2-2 world tour guitar, once again proving that Clone Hero is a hardware game and that every copy is personalized. Along with these incredible accomplishments, a big community milestone has just occurred. Carney Jared FC'd what more effort sounds like, the last song that was needed to complete the effort series by So Inhumane. He also FC'd Solus 3140, which is a new world record speed for that song. Jared is proving to us once again that if your chat bone zones hard enough, you might just FC anything you want. Along with the return of Send It, the return of Randy Ladyman on YouTube has also happened, with an FC of Classical Thump at 150. A lot of people are arguing that this is his best FC, but... He's put that in so many of his titles, I'm confused as to which one is actually his best FC. Moving away from Clone Hero, an incredible rock band player, Real Savage Elf, has FC Death Quota for Purification on 125 speed on Rock Band 3. Absolutely incredible accomplishment and one of the most impressive rock band FCs of all time. 
And just like that, we've made it to the final section of this video, which is the newest chart releases this month. Let's start with the Clack Pack from Frif Raff, Game Changer from Rob GH, Miscellaneous Pack 1 from CSC, Project Strandburger from Tundra CH, and a new collection of songs from the Gent Hero crew. Also, Frif Raff has released a Google Drive with over 30,000 songs on it. If you're missing a song, chances are it'll be in that drive. All of the downloads to these packs will be in the description of this video, and I suggest you get them all because you should have all of the songs downloaded. And with this in mind, this is what happened over the course of February. Once again, my name is Kanjay, and thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Only a small percentage of- But please subscribe to Frif Raff for putting this together and for doing all that he does for the community. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next month. Have a day.